Anyway, I'm, af I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Um, it's b bad news about the uh, health of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Um, if you don't want to know the score, please look away now. But um, the Queen's dead, I'm afraid. Um, she, she, she died a, sh a little while ago. I mean, I'm sorry if this is how you're finding out. Y you look genuinely surprised. I'm mean, very sorry about that. I mean, I was at work when I found out I woke up bar. And um, when, I, when I found out the Queen had died, I was sort of like, oh, the Queen's died. And um, I immediately started crying, obviously. And um, I asked my manager, can I take my break? And he went, no. Um, and then when the next customer complained that his pint of Guinness was 50% Guinness and 50% my tears, uh, he said, yes, I could. And uh, on my break, I sort of sat looking at my phone and I, I, had a, I had a notification from BBC News saying the Queen had died, but I don't trust the lamestream media, so um, I took to the platform that I consider at least the, the last bastion of high quality journalism. Um, so I started looking at Twitter, and um, I, was, I was scrolling and scrolling and um, scrolling past tributes from you know, celebrities, former US presidents, important dignitaries, but no matter who tweeted their condolences, I, I couldn't believe the Queen had died. Um, that was until I came across this tweet, and it said the following. <laughs> We here at Domino's are devastated to hear of the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In 2007, we were delighted to receive a visit from the Queen to our pepperoni cutting factory in Newport Pagney, where Her Majesty expressed great joy while slicing the spicy sausage. Um, Her Majesty also disclaimed her passion for the New Yorker pizza with a garlic and herb stuffed crust. And out of respect for Her Majesty, we will be retiring this flavour combination for the foreseeable future. As a condolence to the royal family, we will be sending a selection of our finest pizzas to Buckingham Palace to help them get through this difficult time. And I mean, I was devastated. I mean, not only had I lost the Queen, but I'd also lost the New Yorker with garlic and herb stuffed crust, which was my favourite flavour combination as well. I just wish I'd known earlier that me and the Queen had so much in common through our shared love of meaty toppings and creamy crusts. <laughs>